friends, it's Carolyn Zook here with C. Zook Stitch, and today is Saturday, September 4th, 2021, and you've found my channel on Cross Stitch, so welcome. I'm so glad that you're here. I have a jack right here beside me. You can't quite see him. I don't know if he'll... There he is. <laughs> he doesn't make appearance too often, so it's fun when he does. So welcome to my channel. I can't believe it's September already. If you live in the U.S., happy Labor Day weekend. Uh, it's uh, a long weekend for um, many people, not everyone, of course. Our retail workers and our healthcare workers, and I'm sure there's a lot of other people who have to work on Monday, but uh, some of us get the day off. I am one of those lucky people that gets the Monday off, so I'm really looking forward to it. I have my tasty pizza um t-shirt on. Uh, if you're from the Twin Cities in Minnesota, you might know about Tasty Pizza. It's a family favorite. Uh, so I have my t-shirt on because after I film here today, I have, I'm going to go out and mow and then I'm going to um, <laughs> try to refinish a dresser for the first time. So wish me luck. I'll take before and after pictures. It is actually going in my um, craft room. So you will see it one way or another, but I will definitely take before and after pictures to show you how that goes. Um, we are almost, this is episode 95, which means we are really close to hitting episode 100. And I think that comes in mid-October. If I'm able to film every week, I think it's about mid-October. Um, and I'm going to plan to have uh, a bunch of big giveaways uh, for uh, our 100th episode. So stay tuned for that. That will be fun. Uh, and we're also up to almost 3,000 subscribers, which we'll do another giveaway uh, for our, uh, yeah, giveaways for 3,000 subscribers as well. So wonderful. Thank you so much. I'm having so much fun with this. Um, and what a wonderful community we are. I love seeing uh, so many of you have jumped on the AB Singo uh, challenge for September, which is super fun. If you're interested in that, my last video, I explained a lot about what it was. And you can join us over on Facebook at the Magazine Monthly Challenge group. So you need to join. We've had a lot of people joining this week, which is wonderful. And uh, then go under events and look for the event, uh, AB Singo. Uh, and if you have any trouble finding that event, just let us know. There's lots of really helpful people in the group who will... will um, direct you to the right place uh, if Robin and I can't get to you first. So it's been really fun. We are four days in uh, and it's been great seeing everyone's progress and, and the energy and the excitement around it. So thank you all for, for those of you who are participating. It's not too late to catch up either because you just have to stitch 100 stitches or one hour on each piece. There's only going to be 25 uh, letters called, but you have until September 30th. Uh, to finish up any projects. So you have about five days after we do the final call to catch up on any projects. So I think it's still plenty of time to catch up. Uh, so let's do August stats since we're in a new month. My August stats, uh, I had one new start, which was early bird bouquets, uh, which I didn't even bring it, but it's the birds and the teacups uh, from an older issue of Cross Stitcher magazine. Uh, and that was the theme, the, um, the monthly magazine challenge theme for last month was birds to celebrate Robin, Robin Hall of Bird's Eye Stitches, uh, to celebrate her birthday month. So I started that. I had one finish, which you all know about, cause I'm still shouting it from the rooftops. Uh, Spring at Hawk Run Hollow by Carriage House Samplings is officially done. Uh, and I did a total of about 104 and a half stitching hours last month. So that was pretty good. I think I stitched every day last month, which was really, really nice coming off of June and July where I did not get very much stitching time done at all in those two months. So thrilled about that. Okay, let's just jump right into whips now. So first up is Spring Quakers by Rosewood Manor. This was from August. So this is still, uh, we're going back to August. And this was my S in our magazine monthly challenge acrostic, monthly acrostic, uh, was sunflowers. And this is my S for spring. And then I just continued working on it for the last two days in August um, after I finished my time uh, for S 
uh, on the acrostic. I just kept going on it because my goal is to finish this piece by the end of the year. Okay, so this is what it looks like. This is by Rosewood Manor. I am working in this area, kind of over here, and then I will have this bottom part to do. So, and this is stitched on 28 count Valor. It's a linen by Picture This Plus. Let me tighten it so you can see it a little bit better. Oh, we got a little see through here. There you go. So this is done, but I think I showed you that last time, that this was done, this was done, and then I, uh, Nasturtium and Daisy. I think those were all done. So what I did up here is I did this little motif here, and then I did this huge motif, well, not huge, larger motif there. So that is what I got done in, in the month, and then, so that's, that, that took a lot of time. There's so many color changes. It's beautiful. So that's this motif right here. And I am almost done with page, this would be page six. I think there's nine total pages, except I need to do, um, there's three words here. They're hard to see on here. Fern, poppy, and cattail. I have to do those. And I think a little bit of this bottom last motif is on page six here. So I'll start on that. And then I'll kind of jump down to start over here. And then we're on, we're in the home stretch anyway. But yeah, each of these motifs, the, the larger motifs do take quite a bit of time just because there's so many color changes in them. And this is stitched with Valdani threads. I put mine in floss away bags because they come on these cute little balls, which is great. But then as you use it, the tag uh, tends to fall off that tells you what color it is. So I thought I'll just put them in these floss away bags, have them on a ring, because there's not a lot of colors. I think there's nine colors or so, maybe 12, uh, but there's not a ton of colors. And then I have the, I just tape the tag that tells me what color it is on here and I can just quickly leaf through while I'm stitching. And the only change I'm really making to this one is she calls for one of the Valdani threads for the, the backstitching the words. I decided to change it out because I, I, she said that that one you're going to come very close to running out of colors on. And she'll tell you this in the pattern. I just um, am using DMC for the backstitching words. I'm using DMC 535. It's just this gray. Um, and I like it because it shows up pretty well, but it doesn't... Um, distract from the motifs. So I'm liking that um, that color choice for the back stitching. So that is Spring Quakers. I feel encouraged by it. I feel good. I think it can be finished. This was my other kind of big goal for this year is to finish this piece. So if we get down to the wire in December and it's not done, it will it will get done this year. It will to kind of take over everything else. So this will trump everything else. I have it in my Garon bag. They designed this bag specifically for the stitch along that was last year or maybe in the year before. I can't quite remember. It feels time is right. Um, is time is strange, but um, they started this as a stitch along, and I, I think I started mine a year later. But look at this bag. Isn't it gorgeous? I just love it. So that's Spring Quakers. Then I had my Sunday spin for the last Sunday in uh, August, and I am working on Autumn at Hawkrun Hollow was my Sunday spin choice. So this is what it will look like. This is very similar to the Spring at Hawkrun Hollow, except a different theme. And I, my goal on this for this year is to finish the first two blocks. Block one is done. I'm now working on block two where it has a lot of stitching the barn and the field in there. There's a lot of stitching, but I do want to finish that block this year. And then my goal on that is to finish it next year. You can see, <laughs> you can see, this is my painting shirt. So I have paint on there. So, because I'll be doing some painting later today. So I just closed up the bag without showing you my project. Um, so this is stitched on um, 32 count, uh, Vanilla Latte by Be Stitch Me. It's what all of my Hulk Run Hollow pieces are stitched on. And that is where I am. So last time you saw block two. 
all that was done was the border. So I was able to get both of the um, haystacks done, this little pumpkin done, and this fence done. I think it's one stitch too high. I think it was supposed to actually touch the border, but I'm not going to take it out. I'm not going to worry about it. It should be fine. It shouldn't mess up the whole thing too badly. <laughs> so that is where I'm at on Autumn at Hawkorn Hollow. So I only worked on that for, I think, two Sundays uh, in August for the Sunday spin, which if you're new, Sunday spin is just something I do. I have my whips in a tiny decision app, um, and I spin on Sundays to see what I'm going to work on. And I work on it that Sunday or until, or each Sunday that month until either the next month or my goal for the year on that piece is met. All right now, then we started in on our AB Singo uh, in um, Magazine Monthly Challenge. So each day I am drawing a letter and it's, it's like a giant acrostic. It's every letter of the alphabet except for one because our bingo boards only have 25 squares. And the one letter we took out was S, uh, which is a common letter, but that was intentional uh, to make it a little bit more of a challenge. Uh, so we started, so each day we'll have a letter drawn. So first up was the letter J. And my piece for the letter J is Al Forest Embroidery Bayoon Cat. And the reason why J fits this is because I started this with Jan Hicks last year when we were supposed to go to StitchCon. Obviously, StitchCon was canceled last year, so we just did a virtual start on this together. She is done, I think, with hers. I'm pretty sure she's done. I'm not done. <laughs> so that's what it will look like. It's a it's a whole kit from Al Forest Embroidery, so it came with everything. It came with the floss, these beautiful um, floss cards that are like really heavy cardboard with the really pretty symbols on them. And they're lovely, lovely floss that's so pretty to work with. There's some variegation in it. It's hard to tell, but there is some variegation in it. And it comes even with uh, the fabric. And it comes with, hmm, I wonder where my, I have to find my, um, it come, came with a uh, needle minder. And I'm not using that. I'm using a Christmas needle minder. Last time I didn't take that off. <laughs> and I think, I'm pretty sure this is, uh, 28 count fabric. Um, it's just the kit fabric. I'm pretty sure it's 28 count, but I, beyond that, I'm not quite sure what it is. So this is where I'm at. So where I worked on it, uh, for the magazine monthly challenge, like I said, you only have to do 100 stitches or, uh, one hour. However you track your stitching. I track by time, but I decided that for each item, each letter that's called, I'm just going to work on it my regular stitching time, which is usually about three hours in the evening. I, I try to get three hours in. So I was able to get these little motifs done over here, the little trees and these little extra, um, they're kind of like stars almost, right? And then I came over here and I did the paw. This, this was all done already, but then I kind of, well, I think part of it. I had to do part of it down here and then up there. And then that was my stitching time. But this will come up again. My goal on this is actually to finish it this year. I don't know if that will happen because there's still a lot to do. Uh, but we'll see. Um, but I really love it so far. Um, I think I have the top part is pretty much done all up here. But there's a lot of stitching in the cat and then below it. So you can see like all that stitching. And then I don't know if I'll get it done year but I can try right so Bay Young Cat I think is on my board another time yet this month I think I just had it on there twice so it will come out again at some point so that's fun it's fun to pull out that piece that I haven't pulled out yet uh, we were gonna pull it out uh, in June to work on it together because Jan and I were not able to go to StitchCon again this June for various reasons and I just didn't pull it out at all but I think that's when she finished hers so so that is J and then the next day the next letter was E and my E was elegant pumpkins and I think I mentioned last time I can't find my original magazine I know it's here somewhere so this is a terrible black and white photo but you can kind of make out that there's pumpkins here and here um and E is for Elegant Pumpkins. This is by Marie Barber. 
It is in Just Cross Stitch. It's in the September, October 2011 issue. I learned about this from EJ um, from Sunshine Stitchers. She started it, and it's just like a beautiful, beautiful piece. A lot of um, kind of, I don't know if you call it confetti necessarily, but there's a lot of, it's slow stitching, but it's fun. Um, this is on a 32 count willow green linen. I have lots of see-through fabrics today. So here is where I'm at. So this is uh, like a purple ribbon that is tied around the stem of the pumpkin and flowing down. And then I worked a lot on this pumpkin here and started down here. So a lot of color changes, uh, especially down in here. You can kind of see there's a few colors in there, but it's going. So it's getting there. So it's fun to pull this out. I hadn't pulled it out since last year, I think, maybe even before that. No, last year, I'm sure. Um, my goal on this for this year is to finish the front two pumpkins. So there's one here and then this big one here, which is going to be a lot, <laughs> I realize. Um, I'm not even halfway done with the first pumpkin. So we'll see. A goal is a goal, right? Uh, but that is my goal for this year. It will come up again, I think, one more time on my, on my board this month, and then I have it... I've kind of plotted out my plans for the, for, um, how to finish these goals on the ones that I think are doable for the rest of the year. And this is one that certainly might be doable. So it will come out again. You'll be seeing this quite a bit from now until the end of the year. And then the last letter that was drawn was a, uh, that was yesterday's letter right the third today's the fourth yes today's the fourth so I draw the evening before which gets me a little confused in my brain sometimes and my a is glitter houses by country uh, cottage needleworks I am on house number two it will look like that and the reason why this is a is because a for I am attempting this fabric <laughs> um, it's really hard for me to stitch on this fabric. This is a 32 count natural silver linen and it's got a bit of sparkle to it which is beautiful and I love it uh, but it's just hard to see the holes and it's a linen on top of that so it's just a little bit harder. So I'm on number two here. It's going okay. I had a lot of this white done and I had to rip it all out last night uh, when I was working on this because there was just you know, white stitches on top of linen, on top of um, sparkly linen. It's just hard for me. Um, so I ripped it all out, and I'm glad I did because it's a lot easier now. It's a little bit off, like these don't line up exactly, but that's okay. Um, and so I got this white snow done in this part of the fence, and then part of the house. And that little tree and that little motif is done as well. And the, this tree here and these snowflakes and the top border were done before. So this is uh, uh, part two. And I'm doing them all in one piece, as you can see. I think it'll be really pretty when it's done. It's just uh, taking me a long time, which is okay. I mean, that's why I'm attempting the fabric. So this is on, also on again. So you'll see this come out again. I don't really have a goal on this for this year because... I started it this year. This is a new year, new start. Uh, so I don't really have a goal on what I'm trying to accomplish this year. Just that, just to work on it. Uh, so that will come out again later this year. And that's what I worked on this week. So that was, it's really fun to do the magazine monthly challenge. Um, it kind of forces you to pull out different pieces and stitch on them. And you don't know what's coming the next day because I draw, so I draw the evening before. Um, so that people can kind of plan out their next day a little bit at least. So it's been really fun. Okay, let's go into haul. I have a little bit of haul to share. Um, first up, I got this lovely, lovely card from Denise. And I'm only going to use her first name because I didn't actually ask her um, if I uh, could say on the video. But she won a giveaway, which I finally got all those sent out. So she sent me this beautiful card with such a lovely message inside. So thank you so much, Denise, for that. I got, I bought this on, well, it was on Stash Unload, but it's not really, it's not like a used, it's brand new. It's the new Mirabilia. 
It's called Botanical Garden. It's a Nora Corbett. And look at her. She's just dripping with flowers. So I picked this up because I thought she was beautiful. And I also um, picked up the, uh, the beads that go with it. So that will be pretty. I don't know when I'll start this or anything, but... I um, wanted it in my in my stash. Then I had to buy a couple Faldani threads because I am getting really low on a couple of the colors for spring uh, spring Quakers. So I just picked up two more of the colors. I got this from Katie and Della online, and I had their business card. It's H A T T I E and spelled out Della, D-E-L-L-A dot com. And they have the Veldani threads, so you can just buy one or two if you need, which is great. Uh, so I got those, so I'll add those to Spring Quakers. If you're more careful, I'm not completely careful with things, and I've had to frog quite a bit. Um, you might be fine. I'm a little more, I'm not super conscientious about how much that I'm, I'm using, so... Um, she does say in there that you might use up or close to using up a whole thing. And I just would have rather have extra than get nearing the end and not be able to um, move forward with my project and have to wait for it to come in the mail. So I did just pick those up. And if I don't need them, then I'll just add them to my stash. The other thing I got is this Mirabilia. This is spring in my garden. I actually ordered all four of them. So there's a spring, summer, autumn winter, of course. Uh, spring is the only one that's arrived so far. I just really want them in my, um, in my stash and, you know, I love a good seasonal thing, seasonal theme. I might leave off the word spring, um, and just stitch the lady and just know that it's spring. Uh, but it'll be fun to look at these, especially compared to the other three. Uh, but I've been wanting these for a really long time and I just finally decided to just purchase them. All right, the other thing I got, so I'm going to go ahead and open this up. This is, I am pro, through Crazy Annie's on Facebook. I am in a finishing club. So every other month, they send you some finishing materials. And it's Lady Dots Creates. It's her materials. This theme is Season of Boo. So it's... Uh, Halloween themed I think but not overtly so so we got this little tomato with this cute strawberry isn't that cute with in yellow I love that we got some finishing pins can you see that they're um, like a really pretty like rose gold tips is what they are we got some cute buttons for finishing we got this pretty wood emblem for finishing. We got some cuts of this beautiful ribbon. So this is kind of like, do you see it? It's so colorful and I love it because it would work for a Halloween piece, but it's also not necessarily overtly Halloween. So I love that. I'm going to kind of try to... <laughs> We'll see how long this lasts, right? Uh, but it's so pretty. You can get an idea of how pretty it is. There's purples in it and oranges. So I really love that. And then there's a cut of this black, which again is really pretty black lace, finishing lace. But again, it doesn't have to be Halloween, right? That's a good, and the cuts are very generous. And then it comes with um, a piece of backing fabric show this to you so this has um, I think it's different it's different languages or is it just German it's just German um, German words What will you have? All is good. Um, I was a German major in undergrad. I don't, I don't know. I don't really remember all my German, but it's just it's uh, German uh, sayings. 
or words in German, I guess I should say. So that will be really cute for a finished piece. So that is this, and that would be, is that the October? I don't know. I mean, it makes sense it would be October, but it's September. So I will do this through this year, and then I probably won't do it again. I mean, not that I won't do it again because it's bad or anything, but I'll just, um, I'm not going to do it right away next year, I don't think. So I'm going to carefully put those over there. And that's my haul. I think that's everything I got in my haul for this week. Uh, and then plans, my plans are just ABC and go. So I don't really know what I'll be working on. It'll be one of those seven projects. Uh, so far in the first what, three days, three different projects have been called, um, which is kind of funny because I only have seven on my board. But we'll see what's going on. So there's going to be no Sunday spin this month because my Sundays will be spent doing AB Singo. Um, yeah, so that's my plans. Easy, right? AB Singo is my plans. So I'd like to bring back giveaways. Um, I know I took a pause for a while there. But I like to bring back those giveaways. So I have a couple giveaways for you today. And the way I'm going to do it is I'm going to promise to get it out by the end of the month. So I know it's still early September, um, but it's just a little bit easier if I can do them in batches. Now, sometimes I will get them out uh, before the end of the month, um, which is just a bonus. But so if you if you win these giveaways, no, they'll, they'll be mailed out by the end of the month if that's all right with you. So let's get back into it. Again, you want to, I mean, I say you have to be 18, but I don't know that there's anybody who's under 18, um, just so that you can give me your address um, or have your parents' permission if you are under 18 and would like to enter to give me your address. I will ship these anywhere in the world. And please don't say giveaway or, uh, you know, free or anything like that to attract the trolls. So we have two kits here that I'm going to give away. These are the kits from the World of Cross Stitching magazine that I've been holding onto to get to you. Um, so this is a cute little, so these are cards, but you don't necessarily have to use it as a card. Uh, this little T um, is really, really cute. And you can stitch a card on it. This little kit comes with everything you need. It's 14 count Ada, your floss. I think there's even a needle in there. Maybe. Usually they have a needle in there. I, um, when I had, there's this glue strip that they glue it to the front of the magazine and I just put tape over it because otherwise it will stick to anything and if I try to take this off, it rips the packaging, which I don't want it to rip the packaging. But you also get the card um, and the envelope for the card in there if you want to put it in the card. I think that's so pretty. Uh, so this, if you'd like to win this, say T, it's T-E-A, I wrote it out here, instead of having to edit it and go in, so T-E-A, if you would like an opportunity to win this. And I will draw this next uh, Saturday when I film. And then the next one, this is another such a cute one, um, is this Country Companions. Um, it's another card kit. Uh, but look at that hedgehog. He's so cute with his galoshes on and his the dandelions. I mean, he is the cutest. So if you would like an opportunity, and again, this is a kit. It comes with everything you need. You can't really see. Well, I guess you can kind of see down here. There's the floss. It's 14 count Ada. Comes with the envelope and the card piece as well if you want to make it into a card. And the word for this one is hedgehog. H-E-D-G-E-H-O-G. -E -E hedgehog. So if you would like an opportunity to do that, to win this, uh, then go ahead and say something about a hedgehog down below. So I think that's everything I have for you today. Thank you so much for joining me. And again, if you're in the U.S., enjoy your long weekend. And I'm going to go out and mow and try to refinish the dresser. So wish me luck. I'll talk to you next week. Bye. Bye.